Hey everybody, welcome back. I've just gotten back from America and I bought so much amazing makeup over there. So I'm doing a haul today, as you can tell by the title. Um, there's so much to show you guys. I did two big shops in Sephora and one big shop in MAC. I hope this video doesn't go for too long and I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. There's a lot to get through so I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible but still be as in-depth as I can. I think I'm going to start out with the base products. I only bought one skincare product and that is the, it's called Derma Doctor. Looks like this. It is a cleanser with glycolic acid. Um, I only paid $25 American for this and I bought two of them and they're absolutely amazing. Um, it says Wrinkle Revenge, so it's um, got a lot of antioxidants in it so it's good for fine lines. Um, it is perfect for oily skin because I am quite oily. So yeah, I bought something similar to this in Australia for about $80. So yeah, I bought two for two for $50, which was awesome. So this is Max Oil Control Lotion. It is for oily skin. You can use it before you do your makeup. And I suppose it's supposed to keep your skin nice and matte during the day. I've got it on today, but it's the first time I've used it. So I won't really know whether it's worked until like 5 o'clock tonight to see how oily I am. But it's a really nice formula. It's like very smooth and it almost has like a, um, like it's really, really velvety. It's kind of buttery. Yeah, it's got a very smooth texture. I think it might have some type of poor minimizing things in it. I also picked up a Bobbi Brown Instant Long Wear Eye Makeup Remover. It is an oil-based makeup remover. I got this from Sephora. Um, it was really cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks. So yeah, Bobbi Brown's awesome. I'm really excited. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm excited to see how that one goes. The priming product I bought was the Professional. I've heard so many amazing things about this. I use the Napoleon um, Pore Minimizer and Mattifier every single day, so I thought I'd give this one a go. It's a bit bigger. Um, today's the first time I've used it. It says oil-free, lightweight, translucent, silky. It's definitely silky. So far, it seems to be exactly like the Pore Minimizer and Mattifier, which I'm stoked about because that is one of my must-have products. Now, I only bought one foundation over there. And that is the Benefit Hello Flawless. I know that Desi Perkins used this foundation, so I was dying to try it. Um, it's a full coverage, but it's really, really liquidy. Um, it's very smooth. I really like it. I'm wearing it today. It's a tiny bit too light for my spray tan, but I just put some spray foundation in a dark color over the top. So, yeah, you can see it on now. I'm really happy with it. Pricing, I think think it was about $25. Everything is so cheap over there. So that's from Sephora. And the shade I got this in is I'm So Honey. I really like it. It's it's pretty good for oily skin. It's t I like the tiniest bit dewy, but I kind of like that anyway. Now I'm going to move on to concealers. I bought heaps and heaps of concealers. First of all, I'm going to start out with my ultimate favorites. I found a new combination that I am so in love with. I bought, finally, the NARS Creamy Concealer in Medium Custard, which I've heard so many good things about. And I am teaming it up with the MAC Prep and Prime, which is just kind of like a highlighter. This is in Light Boost. So I'm using these two products in conjunction with each other. I'm taking them both kind of under the eyes and doing like a bit of a V to highlight. And I'm using the Prep and Prime down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's Bow, and my... What's this thing called? My chin. Yeah, and then I'm just blending them together with a beauty blender and I'm loving them. It's probably my favourite combination so far for concealers and highlighting. I bought two of the NARS concealers and I bought three of the MAC Prep and Prime. So I'm stocked up for a little while. I went to stock up on my NC20 Pro Longwear Concealer, but they were out of stock. So I just asked her to recommend the next best thing. And what she recommended was the Select Cover Up Concealer. She said it's like a really full coverage, just like um, Pro Long Wear. It looks like this. I got it in NC20. I got two of these. It's good, but it's really, really thick. And I don't think the concealer needs to be thick to have good coverage. So you can see like how kind of thick that is. Yeah, so I, I do like it, but... I wouldn't be in a hurry to buy it again. That's probably the only thing that I'm not like in love with out of all the things I bought. 
The next concealer product that I bought, she recommended this for me. This is the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette Medium. The colours in here are NC30, NC35, NW25, NW35, and it's mid yellow and mid peach. This is perfect for um, some of my clients because you don't really know what undertone their circles are going to be, whether they're going to be blue based or yellow based or red toned or purple. So it's good to have that just to get a bit of everything. And I think that was originally 40 American dollars and because I bought a pro membership card because obviously I'm a makeup artist, I got 40% off of that. So yeah. Another priming product that I forgot to mention was the MAC Prep and Prime. It is just a translucent powder so you can use this before you put your foundation on as a primer or you can use it to touch up with or you can use it to set with so it's got absolutely no colour to it. You can see it's just translucent. Another kind of priming product is something that I've wanted for ages. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft, Soft Ochre. And you put this on before you put your eyeshadow on and it just creates a really beautiful base and keeps it on all day long. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a, a neutral kind of colour. It's got like a bit of a sticky consistency which is really good to keep your eyeshadow and concealer on. Um, although I haven't tried it yet so I don't know whether I'm in love or not. Okay, so a really nice bronzer that I discovered in MAC when I was over there is this one here. It is a mineralized skin finish in dark deep. It's a really, really, really beautiful bronze. You can see it's got quite a lot in it because it is, is sitting quite high in the pan. I've used this today to do my contour and around the um, hairline of my face. So I'm really loving this one. I will swatch it for you. So you can see it's a beautiful bronze tone. It's got not too much yellow, not too much red. It's just a really kind of gorgeous bronze. You can't see that because there's way too much fake tan on my arm. But yeah, love. That is a must-have product. Now moving along to blushes. I bought six blushes from MAC. They're coming in a palette like this and I'll show you the colours. Choose which colours you want and then you buy the Z palette and then you buy the little, um, the black, sh this black sheet that goes inside of it. I think the Z palette's $8 and then the sheet is just $2 or something. So, I don't know how you're supposed to get it out. I'm so scared. Anyway, I really don't know how to get that out, but this is the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks now. So, it's a really nice kind of um, intense pinkish colour. I need to find the names for you guys, don't I? Yeah, they're written in French, so I'm not going to try and butcher the names. Um, but they do have numbers here, so I'm just going to link them all down below. But yeah, this is the colour that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This colour here is quite beautiful. I've used that on the outside corner of my eye today. I used this one as eyeshadow the other night. It looked really pretty. And then this is just like a nice kind of light... Um, contour. This is like a darker contour and then like a beautiful peachy tone. So I'm stoked with those. I think I came down to like $15 for each um, blush, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm in love with that. And then I bought the same thing, but for the eyeshadows. I didn't fill it up though, because I've got some eyeshadows at home. And I think I can put them in here, but I'm not sure. Um, if any of you know the answer, let me know. But yeah, this is the eyeshadows that I got. I will link all of the colours down below. But there's just a, like a really nice, beautiful kind of khaki colour. This awesome purpley midnight jet colour. Um, yeah, like a nice peachy goldy. A beautiful highlighter and then just like a... Mm, what would you call it? Brownie green-ish shimmer thing. Anyway, I love that as well. These came down to $8 each, I think. And then the same price for the actual holder. Uh, I told myself I wouldn't buy any eyeshadows over there, but that wasn't going to happen, as we all knew. This is such an awesome colour. I fell in love with this. This is a Laura Mercier eyeshadow in African Violet. It looks like this on my hand. Such a pretty purpley colour. It kind of has like gold and pink little specks in it. I absolutely love that. 
I also bought a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Taupe shade 4 which looks like this and that's what I used to contour my eyes today. It's a really nice matte taupey colour and it's so buttery. Oh, it's velvety and buttery and it's absolutely amazing. Um, I also bought this a Makeup Forever, um, like a Z palette kind of, and I selected my colours to put in here. And these eyeshadows are ridiculous. Like, they are just so beautiful. They are so highly pigmented. I have never met an eyeshadow that is so highly pigmented. And look at how they go on. It is absolutely stunning and zero fallout like it does not crumble they are absolutely amazing the lady in the shop was talking them up and I'm like yeah yeah you're a good saleswoman but they're actually the best and it's because they're boiled they're not baked and I think that has something to do with the fact like I was I've, I've got these two colors on my eyes today rubbing and there was just nothing it was like it was like a wax or something it was just gripping to my to my eyelids and I didn't even use an eyeshadow primer today so I would have to say these are the best eyeshadows of ever used in my entire life. Uh, the colours are... I'll link the colours down below. Anywho, this is what it looks like. It is... Oh, I don't even need words. I love it. I haven't used it yet. I just took a big chunk out with my nail. But yeah, Glitz by Association. I think it might be like a limited edition, so if you love it, go and get it now. Um, I will swatch it for you. That's what it looks like. So it's like a really awesome metallic-y, blacky with gold flex through it. I bought a Bobbi Brown blush in 22. I love this colour. I used this in New York once. Um, and yeah, enough to know that I absolutely love it. It's very similar to the eyeshadows. Really, really velvety. And they just go on beautifully. So soft. Really blendable. Yeah, love that Bobbi Brown blush in 22. Next product that I'm absolutely in love with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. And I got this in shade Soft Brown. It is by far the best brow pencil I've ever used in my entire life. If I had have known that I would have loved it this much, <clears throat> I would have bought 10 of them because they're so amazing. But it's just such a beautiful colour. It's what I've got through my brows today and this is all I've used. Normally I use like two or three products through my brows. So... I am absolutely in love. It's got the spoolie on the end of it. Um, I think these were like, I don't know, I'd be guessing $15 or $20. Makeup Forever Lip Liner Perfecta. And this is like a clear lip liner that you put on the outside of your lips to stop your lipstick from bleeding during the day. I obviously haven't used it because I've still got it in the packaging. It's, supposed to, it's like a wax base, so you put it like around the outside of your lips and it holds lipstick in place and stops it from coming off and going outside the line. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a clear kind of... Oh, it's really, really buttery. Feels like... I don't know. Feels almost like Vaseline or something. Like it's super... Yeah, I can feel the stickiness of it. I'm yet to try it, so I'll let you guys know how I like this one in one of my next tutorials. I once found a YSL mascara that I absolutely loved, and I've been kind of on the hunt to try and figure out which one it was. I bought the YSL Shocking over there, and it has a really nice wand on it. I like it when the wands aren't too big, and it has like a lot of bristles inside of it, so that means that it's going to separate your lashes really well. I've got it on today, but I've also got some falsies on it, and I really, really like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best mascara I've ever tried, this is probably a 9, so I'm really happy with it. And I think it was like 25 bucks or something, which is like half the price of what we would pay in my or DJs. It is, um, what brand is this? I will have to link it down below. And it's purely just for your bottom lashes and you can see how many little bristles are on that. It's the first time I've ever used a bottom lash mascara and I'm wearing it today and I absolutely love it. I think it's separated them really well and added some volume. So big thumbs up for this. This is like a little travel size, I think. But when you're in Sephora, there's like a million things as you're in the line and this was like $10 or something. So it's just um, a way for them to add on, but I really, really like it. I also picked up at the end of the queue Benefit Their Real Mascara but in a travel size because I didn't want to buy the full one because I've heard really mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it. So um, this is a little travel size one which is perfect if I'm just going away for the weekend. I'll take it with me. Hopefully I like it but I mean 
it was like eight or ten dollars or something benefit um gimme brow so i've heard heaps of good things about this is kind of like a tiny little tube and then it's an even tinier wand it's actually fibers so it adds fibers to your brows i'm gonna put some in now it makes your brows appear fuller because it actually adds fibers as i just said but if you put too much in i use this when i first got it if you put too much in you can kind of see the powderiness to it so i think it's just one of those products where it's all about the application can you tell the difference? I can't really. I think it's just something that's good to use if you've got to be out of the house in two seconds and just have something on your brows. But because it is kind of waxish and fibery, I think it holds them in place really nicely. So yeah, I really like it. You've just got to make sure you don't put too much on. So while I was away, I told myself I wouldn't buy too many lipsticks because I have a million and I only bought five, so this is pretty good of me. Um, I'm going to start off with the one that I'm wearing today, which is a MAC Pink Plaid. I absolutely love it. It's just a nice kind of neutral colour. It's a bit of a purple undertone. I thought it would be more this colour that it looks like it would be, but it's got a bit more purple undertone to it. I don't mind that, though. And I've actually popped a little bit of... I'm missing one. I actually bought six. Aha! <laughs> it was under my bum. Peach Stock. So this is a really nice nude. And you can see that I've popped it on over the top of the pink plaid. So, yeah. They're the colours that I'm wearing today. I've just popped it in the middle just to kind of give that ombre kind of look. So, yeah. That's Peach Stock. Now I'm going to show you a really cool colour that the lady at MAC recommended for me. It is called All Fired Up. This is all fired up. So it's like a candy red. This is a really famous nude lipstick called Myth. I got it because it's really famous and everyone talks about it. But I don't love it. I think it is too um, concealer looking on my lips. But I will use it just to kind of blend another colour in with it. It's not the end of the world to have an extra MAC lipstick now, is it? Um, now I've also bought Heroin, which I've wanted for ages. And that is what that looks like there. I'm on the weirdest angle. Eh. So yeah, that's a pretty cool colour. I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited to try it. I'm just, you've got to have your makeup right if you're going to wear one of these kind of colours. One lipstick that I fell really in love with and I had to buy it. Even though it was at that point where I had like 20 things in my basket and I only went in to get one black eyeliner and I had 20 things and I was like, I'm not getting anything else. And then I found this and I was like, well, I can't leave it there. This is a Makeup Forever lipstick. And I have not used this yet. But it is this amazing goldy bronze colour. I cannot wait to use this a MAC lip pencil in Summer Fruit and it's a wind up one. I didn't think that it was a wind up one when I chose the colour but I got it home and realised that it is and it's fine. I like the colour. It's a bit nude when it's on, a bit too nude but I'll still use it. Um, the only thing is that they are so buttery which is beautiful but when I first used it it like snapped off. I don't know whether I, I had it wound up like this. Maybe that's too far. Maybe I should just have it like to here. But yeah, it, uh, like a chunk of it snapped off, which is devastating when you buy a new product. But that's, an, that's the colour. It's a nice colour, but very nude. Now I'm going to talk about the brushes that I bought at MAC. Two, three, four. I only bought five. This is the 105. Nine brush. I use that for my contouring now. It is a um, sable brush. Love that. I also bought the 227, which I used to apply the highlighter on my cheeks. That is also a sable brush. Uh, I also bought the 242. I believe it is an eyeshadow applicator brush. It is sable, but it's been um, dyed. But I think you could use this for concealer as well. So 
either way it's a flat top applicator brush so it doesn't matter what you use it for this one here is a synthetic brush this is the 239 and i'd have to say this is probably the my favorite mac brush that i own i use this and i've used it every day since i've gotten it to smudge out the eyeshadow underneath my eye to make it really blended i use it to apply the color under my eye and blend it out so yeah that is the mac 239 you can see it's nice and skinny perfect 287 which is just like a little kind of concealer blending brush it's half sable half synthetic and I sometimes use it just to blend out the concealer or after I've done my eyeshadow just to kind of go back in and smooth everything out around underneath the eyes love that as well this is an eyeliner that I just stumbled across because I left mine in Australia and I really needed a black gel eyeliner. So I just bought the Bobbi Brown one. This was $22. It is amazing. It's so, so jet black. I never realized that the other one that I was using actually wasn't like this black until I used this. And I was like, holy moly, crappioli. This was the reason why I left with another $400 worth of Sephora products because I went in to get this. I also picked up the original beauty blender when I was in the end of the checkouts at Sephora. I think this was like $15 or something like that and online in Australia they're like $30 so I haven't used it yet but you do you do dampen it first and then kind of use it to apply your foundation or blend out your foundation. Same diff. I bought two different sets of lashes when I was in MAC but I bought two pairs of each. I'll show you the first set. What I'm wearing now they are A34 and they look like this. I love that they're so spaced out. I've actually cut, I think, this much off of what I'm wearing now. And I've just used like this much on the edge, if you can see. And then I bought this um, set, which the lady actually recommended. You can see that they flick out at the edge. I bought two of these. She said that they were her favorites. I chose another pair, but they didn't have any in stock. So I just said, get me the closest one. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. They look nice and flary. So that's the AC3. And last but not least, I just have a whole heap of samples which they chucked in at Sephora. I haven't tried any of them, so... Well, actually, that's a lie. I have tried. They gave me two of these Makeup Forever um, HD translucent powder. I love this. I used this the whole time that I was in America. And, oh, this is going to last me forever because I haven't even skimmed the surface and I used it for three weeks straight. They also gave me a serum by the brand Sephora, a Versace fragrance, some Derma Logica, Derma something, other something something, Saint Tropez Multi Action Face Gradual Tanner. Interested to see how that goes. I don't normally use tan on my face, but I will give it a whirl because I've heard good things about Saint Tropez. More serum, more serum, Misty Your little perfume and more of that sea body scrub so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my purchases from america um if you are interested in how much i spent i did two big shops at sephora they were both i think one was about 600 and one was about 400 give or take so i would say i spent about a thousand in sephora and then i went to mac and i had my pro card so i got 40 percent off um and i spent 400 us there so yeah that was everything i bought so i spent about 1500 on makeup but keep in mind it is what i do so i'm definitely gonna make the money back from it and yeah absolutely love everything i bought as i said and yeah i hope this helps you guys when you're interested in buying more makeup bye